I've had so much fun here, I have. I went bowling. I don't mean to brag. Really, there are two types of people that go bowling. There are people that really, really love bowling. And then there are the people that are like, wouldn't it be hysterical if we went bowling? Because <laughs> for most of us, bowling is the activity you do after you've done everything else. It's like, well, we could go bowling or we could just hang ourselves. Why don't we go bowling? No one's ever jealous when they hear you went bowling. Oh, you went bowling? Glad I couldn't make it. Well, bowling's great. You gotta love a sport you can eat while you play it. Never see that in tennis. Hey, before you serve, let me dig into these nachos. It's a different sport. There's an ashtray built into the bowling equipment. Poker doesn't even have that. And that hand dryer thing? If you're sweating while you're bowling, you're out of shape. <laughs> and if you're out of shape and you're bowling, you're probably a professional bowler. <laughs> Nothing really healthy about bowling. It has to be the germaphobe's nightmare. Here, put on these moist shoes 10,000 people wore and stick your fingers in these dirty holes. <laughs> now you have the flu. <laughs> How dirty are those holes? It's not like those balls wear out. They probably have manufactured a bowling ball in a thousand years. Someone's out there using Fred Flintstones right now. That is preposterous. I don't own a bowling ball, because I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, I want to volunteer to carry around a 50-pound ball. Can you put it in a big, ugly purse? That's how I want to meet the ladies. Oh, couldn't help but notice you staring at my purse. It's filled with a big blue ball. Mind if I follow you around the parking lot? I'll just be humming. Hmm, hmm, ball in the bag. It's the worst song ever. I always have to pick out my bowling ball. I can never find the right one. I'm like, this one's too heavy. Oh, this one's good, but it's pink. And my fingers don't fit. How do they decide on those finger sizes? They're either for a five-year-old girl or the Incredible Hulk. How big are some people's fingers? Some guy wearing a catcher's mitt? Yeah, it's good. I can still catch the game, don't worry about it. Those bowling shoes, no update there. You need our special shoes before you can roll our magic ball. <laughs> Some people have their own bowling ball and their own bowling shoes and no friends. <laughs> That's mean. I can say that because I like bowling. I watch bowling on TV because I use my time wisely. <laughs> I saw this college team championship. Each team had their own coach. What kind of strategy advice is a bowling coach giving? You know what this time, Timmy? I want you to knock down all the pins. <laughs> you sure? Trust me. <laughs> Just do it, son! <laughs> That's weird. Bowling seems silly, but yeah, we all take it very seriously, right? Until we get that first gutter ball, we're like, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> this is a stupid sport. <laughs> There's few moments in life as humiliating as that gutter ball. The worst part is then you have to make that turn back to your friends. <laughs> that ball's broken. It's tilted down there. You never want to be the worst bowler of the group because then everyone treats you like you have cancer. <laughs> you can do it. We're praying for you. <laughs> the advice starts, use a heavier ball, keep your arms straight, you should get a vasectomy. <laughs> if you're really bad at bowling like me, they'll ask if you want the bumpers up. <laughs> it's not like bowling's that complex anyway. You want the bumpers? We can get rid of the pins. Why don't you take this coloring book and sit in the corner? <laughs> but I like bowling though. It's perfect for the lazy man. No other sport has a machine that rolls the ball back to you <laughs> at 
arm level. <laughs> All right, I'll keep playing. Is there any way I can do this in a chair or something? Hi, I'm Jim Gaffigan, and I wanted to just thank you for watching that video. It just makes me giddy. I mean, not giddy, but makes me happy. And frankly, I don't have much more time on this planet. And I was, I guess if there's anything else I'd want, it would be if you would subscribe, but you don't have to do it. I know you're busy. You know, you're cool. You've got other videos to watch, but if you hit subscribe, I don't know, maybe I'll have the willpower to pull it out. That sounded dirty.